Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to share with you guys. I haven't the slightest clue what is inside this box. These are usually some of my favorite unboxings because I, I have no hint whatsoever. It was sent to me by Lee. Thank you very much, Lee, for sending it in. We're gonna find out what's in here together. As per usual, if it is something I can link, I will link it right down in the description. It does help this channel when you use my links, so I would greatly appreciate it. But that is entirely up to you. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Let's go ahead and get into this box here. That's not how you're supposed to cut into that. I don't care. That is how I'm going to do it. Okay, we have... Oh, it says four unboxing. Okay, good deal. Yes, 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 yes. Here, you can look at that. Hey, MC, thanks for providing content for a lifelong knife guy like me to assist in his healthy addiction and for the opportunity to contribute to your channel. Love your content and keep doing what you do. P.S. Only because I want to hear you laugh due to <laughs> potential flattery. Can you send me an autograph? Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> yes, I, I will. <laughs> I will. That's so weird. Uh, but okay. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, oh, yes. Mm, oh, yes. Interesting. So I had to get this from a viewer. Because Artisan Cutlery is doing their best to... Not contact me. I, they're not. They're not ignoring me. They're just. I, I'm. I think they have a lot on their plate right now. Let's go ahead and. There it is. Let's go ahead and look at this. Oh, this is. Yeah, this is brand. I remember. You, he sent the video and he said, "I just got it." So this is an artisan cutlery and Ray Laconico. It says prototype. Andromeda. Is that what it says? Hold on. That's not it. Uh, prototype Andromeda, built by Artisan Cutlery, and it's a button lock. Ooh, ooh, and it's smooth. Oh yes. So this is titanium. Why do I feel a bit of a texture pattern there? Oh, that's why. Because there is a texture pattern. Oh, that's good. You can see the lines move across diagonally from the. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> I got the accent. I just don't have the, <laughs> the terminology. Um, yeah, that looks nice. I like that. Button, it doesn't have too far to travel. A little bit of stick, but that's par for the course for button locks. I'm sure that'll come out. You can hear it, though, but, well, it's not as bad. If you, The harder I kick it, the harder it is to disengage, but on a scale of 1 to 10 for how difficult that button is to push down or overcome the stick, I'd say it's a 4. <laughs> I've definitely felt worse. Um, but yeah, not a lot of travel for the button, so there's not that crunchy feeling. And we definitely don't have an issue with where the other side, yeah, there's nothing touching that blade, so it allows it to actually swing, which is nice. How is the lockup? Lockup is good. Happy to report that. No pivot lash. Yeah, typical, you know, plunge lock. That centering is absolutely spot on. This is a nice button lock design for sure. And we get a milled, a simple, but a milled titanium clip. I think it said 20 CV. Yeah. CPM 20 CV on there. I think this is a, uh, this is a full size knife. Let's go back to the one. There we go. I believe when I, well, full size by my standard, right? I'm not talking cold steel, cold steel Formax full size, eight inches. With a three and a half inch blade, exactly what I consider to be full size. Cutting edge is about 3.4 inches. That's nice. Nice open handle design. You know, it looks more, <laughs> I think you guys will know what I'm talking about. It looks more artisan cutlery y than it does Ray Lacano, like Ray Laconico y. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's Ray Laconico in the sense that the lines are very simple, but it's not so obviously Ray Laconico that I would immediately go, that's a Ray Laconico design. It's, I would say that looks like an artisan cutlery knife, right? But nice, open, simple, ergonomic lines. I like the all black look. I definitely like the texturing on the titanium. Artisan cutlery does that, 
and so few other companies. So many other companies would have gone, nah, just leave it. Just make, just put the black wash finish on it. And fine. But I like a texture pattern. I think that looks nice. I like how the blade looks. I like that the tip actually drops, right? That we got more. It's a modified drops cliff sheep's poker. So whatever, whatever you're going to call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. We still have a whole bunch of stuff all over the blade, and they still insist on putting china right there. But ease of manipulation, definitely. They got the height of the button nice and it's way up there. So lefties even, right? Even if you're choking up, that's when you're just barely, right? Standard grip here, squeezing it as hard as I can. Now I don't think you're going to disengage that. Lefties, you can enjoy this one. Very easy to manipulate off that that thumb stud there. Yeah, yeah, this is cool. I'm glad I got an opportunity to look at this. If it is available, I'll link it down below. Artisan Cutlery has a ton of really cool knives. If you're new to the knife world, Artisan Cutlery makes budget knives. They make some in-between knives, and they make some knives that are very premium. Generally speaking, Artisan Cutlery likes the range of about $40, like when we're talking budget, $40 to $70 in their budget territory, and then all the way up to $250, sometimes closer to $300, depending on what the knife is and what it is made out of. So usually they've got something for everybody. They do wild, crazy, wacky stuff, and they do really simplistic, kind of more EDC utilitarian designs. Those are some of the ones that I like. But yeah, definitely something, uh, I think... For everybody. The only thing that's holding me back a little bit is the stick. But again, this is a prototype, right? It is not, you know, something that is uh, absolutely in production right now, not that I know of, but this particular one is a prototype. So perhaps that'll be different with the actual knives. Okay, I don't think there's really anything more I can say. I will do a full comprehensive review of this knife a few weeks down the road, so expect to see that. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.